What's up, I'm Joe. You know, as this generation has grown up, we've become very aware of the countless pressures put on various demographics in our society. If you don't believe me, just spend like 10 minutes on Tumblr. One of the trends against these social pressures is the body positivity movement, where you're supposed to love the temple that you're in, you spend a lot of time in it, so you might as well, you know, get used to it. And I think that's great. I mean, the human body is so amazing, the kinds of things that it can do and deal with and adapt to. But once in a while, I just look at my body and I'm like, what? are you doing? You are an idiot. And I don't mean just my body, your body too. Your body is a moron. Which makes me say, you know what? Screw good body image. Once in a while, I feel like my body just needs a smack in the face. That hurt. Like for example, acne, like right here. What is this for? Why does it happen? Why, why do you do this? body, why do you do this? We all grow up in bodies and people tell you like, oh, it's just part of being a teenager, you start getting acne, but it's not just part of being a teenager, it's actually part of being the rest of your life forever and there's no reason for it. What evolutionary pressure was put on our ancestors that their bodies had to start being like, well, we'd better start putting little red bumps on their faces. Or how about sleeping? We spend a third of our time unconscious and nobody really knows why. I mean, we know all of the terrible things that happen to people's bodies when they are deprived of sleep, but we don't have any good explanation for why we actually need to sleep in the first place. It's like when your mom told you to go to bed and you said why and she said, well, because I said so. That is the best explanation that anyone has for why you need to go to bed. She might not have known it, but your mom was at the cutting edge of science. Allergies are another one. I know it's a sign of a healthy immune system, but like sometimes you, they just freak out for no reason. Like my body is convinced that cats are poison. And the reaction is to just like make you sick and useless and unable to do anything cool. So anytime I get near a cat, it's like, how did that help our hunter-gatherer ancestors hunting like tigers in the forest? <laughs> like, guys, I think there's a tiger around here somewhere. <laughs> Clever girl. Ugh. Along the same vein is atrophy. Like when you're working out and you're building a ton of muscle and then like you don't work out for two days and your body's like, oh, guess I don't need this anymore. See ya. No, keep, I, I got other things to do today, but we're gonna need to lift 90 pounds again eventually. Just hang on to that, okay? All right, okay, cool, 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 cool. Our bodies evolved in a much different environment than we are now inhabiting, and so they are adapted to do different things. Our society has evolved much, much faster than they have. We like to think of our higher selves as being in charge of things, but we're really not. The human body runs on its own subconscious governmental system, the same system that has kept our ancestors alive for hundreds and thousands and millions of years. So. Yeah, I guess we can afford it a couple of bureaucratic inefficiencies. I don't need to run the whole show. I just wish once in a while the thing that's governing all of this would consult me a little bit. What about you guys? Leave me a comment. Tell me what kind of things your body does that you're just like, what? why can't, can we just talk about this, please? Also, click like on the video, subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out. And share this out to your friends and families and all of the tweet books and such. Get brain, come on. Figure it out. 50 XP for watching. Peace and love. Also, I'm heading to Los Angeles with Christina tonight to hang out with a whole bunch of really cool people and do all kinds of really cool things. I'm gonna be updating on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. If you want to be kept abreast, go ahead and follow me there. Otherwise, I'll also be taking a lot of footage and you can definitely look forward to seeing some here. Okay, bye. Thank you.